Hi guys, I showed you in a recent charity shop video I bought this £1.75. I thought it was just a freewheeling one, but it's actually got a friction motor in it, which doesn't really matter. I intend to do one of my body swap videos where I put a different, well, a radio control chassis underneath this body. But now that I know it's got a friction motor in it, we'll just watch it go. It works fine, doesn't that? I just like the look of it. It's a nice bright yellow tow truck. Ford F650. Yeah, looks like fun. Looks like we could even have the, um, what do you call this bit? A towing truck with a hook on it, if we wanted to. But I think I'll be just happy to put a radio controlled motor and steering on it, just to make it look like fun. Hi guys, I showed you this truck I picked up in a charity shop a little while ago. Cost me £1.75. It's actually got a friction motor in it. But I bought it because I thought I'd change it to radio control. At the moment I'm just thinking of making it a simple project. So it's not going to have something like a Traxxas stuck underneath it. Just the uh, usual stuff I pinch out of other cheap radio control cars. And as you can see here, I've got the steering out of another car, which looks to me like it will fit inside there without me having to cut the wheel arches at all. And then for the back end, I've got that one, which actually would fit inside but it would be nice if I could get the wheels to stick out just a little bit, like they do at the moment. So I've got another one, same engine, or same gearbox set up, but this one I put extended axle on for a different project. So this is the one I'll use. I might even have to cut them down a little bit because that will be sticking out way too far. But that's what I'm going to do. I'll Cut this around so we can actually fit this lot in. I will actually use a hobby grade receiver and ESCs, but I'm not upgrading the motor in here, so it's not going to be high speed or powerful. This will just be the ordinary, what, four and a half volts or something like that. But at least it means I can control it with one of my normal. Uh, hobby grade transmitters. Well that's the chassis we'll call it taken off. Got a few spiders webs in there. could try cutting this out so that will fit straight in there. I have to cut out a fair bit at the front there. rig something else up to hold it in place. I'll have a think about it. 
That's the old flywheel motor. So I suppose I've got a few useful gears on there that I could use for something else. I'm just sketching on here how much I'd have to cut out. And one thing that's just occurred to me, I could do this, that'll mean cutting right the way through here, so it'll be in three sections, front, middle and back. Or I could do a different type of truck. I could do a low rider. If I do a low rider, then we can sit the steering up much higher into the bodywork. Same with the gearbox. And that might look interesting. Can't guarantee it, but it might do. So I might go for that, make it a low rider. Well, the front end fits in. Suitably low. Had to cut out a fair bit just so we can get it in there. I've got to decide what I'm going to do with the back end now. I'm not sure whether to have the wheels inside the bodywork, in which case I'll have to cut a little bit out of the bed here. We'll have them right outside. If I have them right outside that makes this bit easier because I can use the extended axle and have the wheels sitting right outside here. But I'm not sure if that's in keeping with the low rider look. I think all the low riders I've seen all the wheels are tucked away inside. So I might have to cut the bed. A battery there, I've got a ESC and I've got a servo tester just so we can check everything's clear. probably see the wheels now. I've had to cut away the bed of the truck for our low rider effect. And the steering will fit in there. We should be ready to go. Here we are, low rider style. I can see I could have got the front down a little bit further, but I'll leave it like that at the moment.
Oops. <laughs> That'll do. It's not for me playing around with it. It seems to work. So we better take it apart again so we can see what's inside. Right, switch that off. So, like I said, I've done it low rider style, so I've had to cut into the bed so the wheels come through. I could have got the front wheels down a bit further as well, because at the moment it's just slightly up at the front. Inside, we've got the ordinary steering from a cheap radio controlled car, but I'm controlling it with an ESC. Because that's the easiest way to do it with a normal hobby grade receiver. And then I've got another ESC that's controlling the drive motor. And at the moment I've got a 8-pack of NICAD batteries in there, so 8 times 1.2 is 9.6 volts. ESC, another ESC, take the little bands off, yeah. so that ESC is controlling the steering. And that ESC was controlling the drive. That's it. Job done.